Hey guys, PG here, and uh, I am doing a review of the Dark Sword Armory 15th century hand and a half sword. Uh, so this is the first sword that I've ever bought. Uh, I didn't know a whole lot about swords before. I bought it, um, but I did a ton of research. Uh, I wanted something that uh, you know, could actually be used as a sword if I ever wanted to, not something to hang on a wall and not some, you know, pretty decoration that couldn't actually be used. Uh, and so Dark Sword Armory kept on coming up over and over again. Um, I read a lot of good things. I read some bad things. Uh, but I just continued to do my research and I found a couple of other companies that I liked, uh, like Windless Armory and uh, Cold Steel. Um, and there was, a, uh, I think Sabersmith was another one and I really liked their designs, but for, for whatever reason, I just kept on coming back to this. Uh, and, and basically, I, I just feel like no matter how much I looked at the other brands, uh, this is just what looked like in my mind what a sword should be. Um, and so I watched a couple of reviews and ended up going with this one, uh, even though there were some things in some, you know, some reviews and some written reviews that uh, I wasn't totally uh, sure about. Um, but I just fired, I decided to take a swing and, and see what happens. So uh, comes uh, really, really carefully wrapped uh, in a bunch of <laughs> ceram wrap, but then you get uh, this beautiful sheath that uh, comes free with the sword. Um, couple of videos uh, you watch and, and some of these sheaths don't seem to fit all that well. Uh, this one really does. Um, if you hold it upside down, the sword will, you know, s slowly slide out, but everything is nice and tight. It doesn't shake around. It's got a little bit of a rattle right down here um, where the blade really thins out, but that's not a huge issue to me, but it locks up really nice and tight and it's just beautiful. I, I think it's got some really nice artistic flair to it. It doesn't feel crummy. It, it feels like, you know, a, a pretty cool sheath. Um, I'm not a sheath expert or, or a sword expert uh, for that matter, but still, I like it uh, and it feels worth it to me. So let's actually show you the sword. And here it is. Uh, apologize for my camera setup. I wish that I'd set up a little bit better, um, but here it is. Uh, so this is their 15th century hand and a half sword. So I believe that it uh, is kind of Germanic in origin, um, German knights, uh, you know, would use shields um, in combination with us or ditch the shields and use it two-handed. Uh, but either way, I just, man, when I held this thing for the first time, I just loved it. It was like the eight-year-old kid in me was screaming for joy. It was, it just feels like in what, you know, you want a sword to feel like in your hand. Um, you get, you, if you read around, uh, you'll see that there's some bad reviews on these guys as far as, you know, some, some of their older models had, uh, some pretty thin tangs um, in the hilt, but this just feels so solid. Uh, um, you know how if you pick up a crappy tool uh, and it just starts rattling around, and you're like, "I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna swing that thing. I'm not gonna use that thing." That's not what you get with this. So it's made out of uh, 5160 steel. Um, I think that's right. Uh, it's the same steel that's used in car springs, uh, and they do what they call a a, a, a dual tempering. Um, so it's softer in the spine than it is on the edge. The edge will hold a very strong edge, but the sword has a little bit of, let's see if I can show you without cutting myself, a uh, little bit of flex to it. Actually, a lot of bit of flex to it. If you really make it, I'm not going to. Um, but uh, it's just, a, it's a beautiful blade. It's got this really pretty fuller, um, I love this thing. Um, and one of the things that I really like about it, I know this is just their forge stamp, but I, I love that. It's their, it's their Griffin. Uh, I just think that that's, um, that's really just pretty. I like seeing that on the sword every time I pull it out. Uh, so, uh, hilt construction, uh, it's got full peened. Um, not sure if full peened is the correct way to say it. Probably not, but, uh, it's been peened. It's not, um, threaded on there. It's very solid pommel. It gives this thing a really good balance. It's a 30, four inch blade, I think, um, weighs just a little bit over three pounds, but man, like this thing is light uh, and agile. It feels really good in the hand. Um, another cool thing I like about it is if you can see here, uh, the blade has actually been kind of mortised into the handle. So this cross guard is not moving anywhere on you. Um, the handle, I think underneath it, uh, is, or the hilt, uh, you've got oak around that is cordage wrapped around. And then on top of the cordage is leather. Um, and so it just gives you this really nice feel to it. Uh, the only thing that I didn't like about it when it came was that 
I, I paid for the sharpening service and it was not sharp at all. Um, I had to go back and sharpen it myself and I've got some experience sharpening um, axes, outdoor stuff, uh, knives, hunting knives, that kind of thing, uh, and I use them. So, uh, you know, I know how to put a good edge on there. Um, if you don't know how to put a get good edge on something, I would say, you know, find somebody who does or, um, but, but don't pay for the sharpening service because like it would be sharp here, not sharp here, sharp here, not sharp here, sharp here, not sharp here. And it just kind of like jumped. Um, and I, I will say that the reason for that might've been, uh, is because they rushed it to me. I, I did not pay for a rush shipment, but, uh, I ordered it right before Christmas and man, they got it to me by Christmas. Um, they overnighted it, which is not something I paid for. I know it's more expensive. Um, but they just sent me an email saying, Hey, uh, we overnighted it to you so that you could have your sword by Christmas. And I thought that was a really cool thing to do. Um, only thing I've cut with it so far is a pumpkin. And that thing, uh, that, that was a lot of fun. I don't have video of it, but it's a lot of fun and I can't wait to find something else to throw at it. But, um, all in all, just, I'm not an expert. I'm not, but this just, it feels right. It feels like what a sword should be. Uh, so thank you DSA for, um, making such an incredible product. Thank you for your credit, uh, you know, your crazy good customer service, getting it out to me as quickly as you did. Uh, I'd love this thing and I'm definitely going to be a returning customer. So, uh, sometimes you get bad reviews. Um, you know, people are a lot more willing to, to talk bad about something than they are to talk good about it. And of course, if something happens to something that you paid good money for, you're going to be pissed. Uh, but this thing is, is great. Um, and I'm not worried about it at all. So, uh, thank you DSA. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day.